Today, Robbie Graham wears his hearing aid with pride. And why wouldn't he? He's one of Britain's best basketball players and has had a breakthrough year in this country's top professional league. But this is a long way from the loneliness he felt at school. I felt like uh, uncomfortable wearing it. Like, I, didn't, I was embarrassed wearing my hearing aid around school because I didn't want to feel treated differently. Obviously, when I went to like, other people that I've never met before, they treated me a bit differently than others, like pointing out the obvious. And I just wanted to be treated normally, basically. He was treated normally by the basketball club he now plays for, Cheshire Phoenix. Morning workouts with the club's general manager helped hone his skills on the court and prepare him for the day ahead. He had a tough time in, in school and basketball was his way out and his escape and he, thrown, he threw himself into that and we worked out at seven in the morning, th two, three times a week for a whole year and you know, and that's really pay paying dividends and it's a, just a testament to him. The Phoenix have got the ball back. James doesn't expect repayments for those early sessions, but he's getting it anyway. Back out to Graham. Graham from long range. Oh, a huge three from Robbie Graham. Robbie helped Phoenix thrash Plymouth at the weekend. Impressing the home support, though, provides its own problems. I need to hear an aid to hear like higher pitch sound. The crowd is very loud, especially our uh, Phoenix home crowd. It's the loudest I've ever been in, ever, in my like, basic life. Um, when the kids are behind us, I have to take both of them out. It's way too loud for me. When I'm in the game, uh, sometimes I'm so focused and the crowd's so loud, I can't hear the coach. So I have to look around a lot more to see who's trying to talk to me, where I've got to look. Whistles, I can't hear. So when I didn't have them on, I was normally playing after the referee's whistle. So everyone thought, like, why is um, this person still going on after the whistle's gone? Because I couldn't hear it. Not content with being a star player, he's also running community coaching sessions. You don't need me to tell you that he's some role model. I hope it inspires quite a lot of people, not even with just basketball, but with other things, like doing your normal day job, uh, in school even. Like, um, obviously, I was embarrassed in school. I don't. Now, looking back on it, I wish I wore my hearing aid more, paying attention more in class. But I hope um, it inspires kids, I hope. They see him as a potential future captain here. So what would he say to motivate others going through a tough time? Just keep pushing. Uh, no matter what's happening in your life, no matter what disadvantage you have, just go for your goal. One of his goals now is to work out what to do with that hearing aid when the crowd is chanting his name. Dan Salisbury-Jones, ITV News.